Ukraine's allied forces have dispatched 17,000 anti-tank guns to the front lines in an attempt to slow down Russia's assault. At least 2,000 NLAW, or the next generation light anti-tank weapon missiles from the UK, 100 NLAW missiles from Luxembourg, and several hundred Javelin missiles from the US and Estonia are among the weapons in the inventory. The NLAW and Javelin anti-tank missiles are considered as the most advanced man-portable anti-tank weapons that are available at the moment. Both are shoulder-fired missiles that have proven useful in a combat. Anyways, how exactly do these missiles function? And what makes them so beneficial to Ukraine's defense? Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Military TV. If you want to get the answer in detail, don't move anywhere and stay tuned only at this channel. Before we begin, we need to answer the question, what is actually the anti-tank missile? An anti-tank guided missile, anti-tank guided weapon, or anti-armor guided weapon is a guided missile primarily designed to hit and destroy heavily armored military vehicles. Anti-tank guided missiles range in size from shoulder-launched weapons, which can be transported by a single soldier, to larger tripod-mounted weapons, which require a squad or team to transport and fire, to vehicle and aircraft-mounted missile systems. In this regard, Russia's main battle tanks, which have been deployed in extensive numbers, are equipped with modern and highly advanced armor technology, including explosive reactive armor or ERA. In other words, the tank's armor burst outwards when impacted by a warhead. This is intended to divert the blast and minimize the damage caused. Nevertheless, explosive reactive armor actually isn't much of an advantage against the modern anti-tank missiles being used by Ukrainian fighters. The NLAW and Javelin missiles are intended to hit a tank from above in a top attack, striking at the top of the tank's turret where the armor is thinnest. This completely damaged the tank or immobilized the crew inside. Before we move further, let's take a deep look at the Javelin and the NLAW missiles. The Javelin refers to an anti-tank missile system that locks onto a target's thermal picture. The soldier peers through a command launch unit and selects different targets and attack types. When fired, the missile's launch motor thrusts it out of the tube before its primary motor turns on and sends the rocket flying. The gentler start reduces debris and smoke, making it harder for the enemy to identify where it was launched. It makes use of what is known as a fire and forget system, which allows the soldier to take cover or load a new missile while the other one is tracking to its target. This missile is an American-made portable anti-tank missile and considered as one of the world's most effective anti-tank weapons and have a long range of 2.5 kilometers which makes them effective in a combat situation. They also target tanks from above, hitting where the armor is at its weakest. One of the reasons they are being used in Ukraine is that these missiles are supposed to be relatively easy to use. According to Mark Kanshin, Senior Advisor for the International Security Program at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, as stated in the Washington Post, the Javelin is possibly the most sophisticated and most powerful anti-tank weapon. It's easy to train fighters to use them, which is advantageous in Ukraine, where most civilians have signed up for the battle. In addition, Javelins are particularly useful because the Russians seem to be roadbound, which makes it easier for Ukrainian forces to set up ambush sites or strong launch points. Supporting this statement, the experts also say that the Javelin is a powerful addition to Ukraine's existing arsenal of domestically produced anti-tank missiles. On the other hand, the NLAW refers to a short-range anti-tank missile whose characteristics make it sort of a hybrid. It's armed with a powerful 150mm high-explosive anti-tank warhead designed to knock out Russian main battle tanks at short ranges. But like other disposable launchers favored by NATO militaries, it's a single-use system with basic optics and which is extremely easy to use. 
Unlike most light anti-tank weapons, the N-Law has a predicted line of sight guidance system in which the operator tracks a moving target vehicle in the launcher's 2.5 times magnification sight for three to five seconds before firing. A cold launch system then ejects the missile with pressurized gas before it ignites its rocket motor, accelerating the weapon to 440 miles per hour. This allows the weapon to be used safely from interior spaces without injuring personnel with the rocket's back blast. The missile then uses an inertial navigation system to fly to where the launcher's targeting algorithm predicts the vehicle will be based on its prior trajectory. In comparison of these two, the Javelin has a maximum effective range up to 4.5 kilometers, whereas N-Laws have a range of up to one kilometer. Consequently, Javelins are substantially more expensive than N-Laws, costing around $80,000 for a single missile. Ukraine has apparently used its missiles and other armaments in highly effective ways. It claims to destroy Russian jets, helicopters, tanks, and other armored vehicles. Russia does not appear to rely on manned portable anti-tank weapons as the same extent as Ukraine does. At this stage, it's drawing on a vast arsenal of tanks and aviation assets, such as attack helicopters, for its anti-tank capability. The underlying reason could be that Ukraine carefully preserving and protecting its limited tank arsenal. This could change at short notice, however, as Russia has sustained its own anti-tank missiles. According to the reports, Russians have suffered significant causalities against anti-tank weaponry, as we've seen images and videos online showing Russian soldiers putting up makeshift mesh screens and cages over their tanks in a futile effort to protect themselves. If you find this video is interesting, don't forget to like, share, and comment, and the most important one is to hit the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you next time.